Hey friends, Ash here with Gent Sense. Today I'm going to be checking out a new fragrance release of which we have not had all that many lately. 2020, not a great year for new releases for obvious reasons, but I do have a new one right here. Stronger With You Leather. And this is an exclusive edition. I got this from fragranceby.ca. They got some of these in and I was like, oh, let me scoop that up because I've not had a whole lot to look forward to as far as new releases go. And they included a little sample here for me. This one is Terror and Magnificence by Beaufort London. So this one, I'm just gonna give a quick spray on the strip, see how it smells. And this one will spray on the skin. Let's see if it's any good. Let's go. Before we jump into these, I guess a little bit of backstory and all that good stuff. So this one right here, like I said, is an exclusive edition. It says it right at the top, and I'll give you some better looks at the presentation as this goes along. But this one is supposed to be exclusive to the Middle East market. So it's not really made for the US. So we have to rely on discounters like Fragrance Buy to make this a little more easy to find. You've seen this happen with other brands in the past, like Dolce & Gabbana. They had a couple flankers that were made for the Middle East market, the one Royal Knight, you know what I'm talking about. And uh, Armani, trying to get in on that action. Hopefully this one is good. Don't really know too much about it, other than what I said when I covered this on This Week in Fragrance, which was I think the last This Week in Fragrance video that I've made, because there has been basically absolutely nothing announced <laughs> in the last, month or two and i don't imagine we're going to see too much announced here at the end of 2020. let's start off with spraying terror and magnificence which is a really metal name i mean that is one of the most metal names that i think i've ever seen a fragrance have and also just the the look of this this is like cradle of filth black metal or something i mean check that out <laughs> nice i've got to tell you guys i'm actually Pretty hyped to smell this. There we go. Ample sprays from the tiny sprayer. Got a kick to it. Yeah, so there's birch tar in here in the top, and that's gonna give it this kind of smokiness, this dankness. I do like it. But most people are not probably gonna like it a whole lot, like your you know, more casual users of fragrance. Not gonna be for them. Spicy, smoky. Uh, woody. It has kind of a stone smell to it as well. Uh, that one I may try to pick up myself down the road. Just wanted to really quickly feature it. I like it. Let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. Stronger With You Leather. This is a 50 mil size bottle, 1.7 ounce. I forget how much it was that I paid for this one. It wasn't super cheap. It wasn't heavily discounted. But like I said, it's exclusive to the Middle East, so it's not that easy to find right now and potentially won't be that easy to find. So I feel like this one is never gonna be heavily discounted. If you see it at a discounter and you're interested, just pick it up. I mean, really just take a look at Stronger With You, Stronger With You Intensely, Stronger With You Freeze. You can find those at discounters easily, but they're still not discounted a huge amount. They've never gone for, you know, 30 bucks. So this one is not gonna be like that either. If you see this and you want it, you're gonna have to pony up at least a little bit to get it. So presentation wise, the box is super reflective, which I'm sure you can tell. And when you look at it, you can see yourself looking back at yourself. So on the box, you have the name of the house, the name of the fragrance, size and concentration all on the front, typical stuff. Emporio Armani logo at the top. You have this little uh, design that wraps around the box, which is to emulate the top of the bottle right there. On the back, got the ingredients, and on the bottom, your badge code, which is 62T70Y9. And here is the bottle. It's in your standard Stronger With You bottle shape, as you can see right there. Cap, also the same as the previous iterations in the line. You have to kind of make sure you line it up correctly, uh, which you can see right here, it's kind of free spinning. And when you get it in the right spot, it'll snap down. This one has uh, a gold overlay and then on the bottom a sticker with your badge code. 
And I would imagine that you can see through this if you shine a light behind it. I'll test that really quickly. So I actually just did an experiment. I ran into another room, turned out all the lights to where it was pitch black, put a flashlight behind this bottle to see if you could see through it. Barely, you can barely see through it. So that's a trick with some of the bottles that are like this. If you can't tell how much you have left in there, you can go into a pitch black room, get a flashlight, like your cell phone uh, flashlight, put that behind the bottle and it'll show through how much fragrance you have. This one is pretty hard to see through, but you kind of can. Let's go ahead and spray it on. All right, two good sprays. I can smell it pretty strongly coming off my hand already. So I'd imagine this one is gonna have performance like some of the others in the line, which is to say, really good. That's actually really nice. Yeah, yeah, that's a, that's a nice fragrance. That's, that's gonna be a big compliment pulling kind of fragrance. It's sweet. That chestnut from the line, that's here, it's prominent. I would expect that, you know, kind of how the Lome Ideal line has almond in each one of the fragrances. With the Stronger With You line, they, they work that chestnut in there and it's, it's here right off the top. Now here initially, it's more like um, chestnut with some sweet spices, a little bit of a um, vanillic kind of resinous feel to it. Not really heavy though, more sweet. Initially, I don't get a whole lot of leather. Now that being said, this is just the opening. So I would imagine if there's gonna be a prominent leather in here, it's gonna come out more as the fragrance dries down. It's not really gonna be like leather right off the top. This is really nice though. Yeah, this has got a good appeal to it. Good, good versatility I would imagine in the winter months. Fall, winter fragrance for sure, by the way. I think uh, just my initial impression that it would be good for day or nighttime use. Type of fragrance that's gonna be pretty hard to dislike. It doesn't really have uh, any of those facets that turn people away. There's nothing dirty in here, nothing animalic. It's got like a little, just like a little bit of a, a sparkle to it, a little effervescence in the top. So it does have this kind of liveliness, this little pop in the opening, like this little, little touch of freshness in the opening and it helps contrast with the sweetness. So put together really well. I mean, I know they have their reasons. I'm not sure why you would make it exclusive uh, to the Middle East because this fragrance is not, at least here initially, coming across like a, a fragrance that I would assume is a Middle Eastern fragrance. I think this has a lot of appeal universally. I'm gonna let this dry down a little bit and then come back to it and give you guys the updates, let you know what's changed, if anything, and then we'll wrap the video up. And I'm back. This one has been drying down. It's still good. If you like Stronger With You or Stronger With You Intensely, you will like this for sure. As it dries down, the chestnut from the opening is still there. You can still pick it up. Now, even though this fragrance is Stronger With You leather, really what I would call a leather fragrance. More so, it's chestnut with a kind of almost slightly dusty vanilla. It's sweet, but it's not like a really heavy vanilla. And spices. That's really mainly what it is. The leather is kind of a supporting note. It comes in as the fragrance dries down. And to me, it's more of a suede than it is a leather. It's not one of those hyper-masculine leathers. You know, it's not really like a black leather or a dirty leather or an oily leather. It's just kind of a, a nice suede that everything else sits on top of. So for a lot of people, if you have them smell this, they're not gonna go leather. They're gonna go, oh, that smells nice. This is sweet, this is spicy. It is good though. Don't let that detract from the fragrance. It's good. It's just the leather is not as forward as you would think when you throw leather on the front of the bottle and say, hey guys, this is stronger with you, but with leather. It's more like, hey guys, this is stronger with you with some nice vanilla and maybe there's some suede in there somewhere, I think, somewhere. There is also some Gaiac wood in here. So as it dries down, you can pick that up and it's almost like this really light, light smokiness. Again, it doesn't come across 
hyper masculine. It's still staying very sweet, very appealing, easy to wear, and uh, with bits of spice in there and a, a slight, very slight resinous touch. It smells good though. It smells really nice. It's still performing well, still projecting well. I'm uh, about an hour and a half in here, so it's still working off my skin really nicely. Nothing bad to say about it, honestly, other than it's not, not a huge departure from the original, or for that matter, Intensely. Do I think this is better than Stronger With You Intensely? You know, just, just kind of snap decision. I would say probably not, but it is really good and I could change my mind as time goes on. So there it is guys, Stronger With You Leather. This is most likely going to be the final designer pickup, at least new fragrance wise for 2020 uh, before we head into the new year. I don't imagine that there's gonna be anything else announced here in the next couple weeks, especially not that I can get within that time frame and check out. So I think this one, Stronger With You Leather, is going to end up being the last new fragrance released in 2020 that I pick up this year. So I think heading into 2021, hopefully we get some new things announced and get some new things coming out that are very interesting. Uh, this one is probably gonna be the fragrance I wrap the year with, at least as far as first impressions on 2020 releases go. Thankfully, it's a really good one. I think if you're interested at all in this, then absolutely check it out. I think it's really, really good. And I'll be wearing this some more over the winter and do a review on that one in the future. All right, guys, there we go. Stronger with you leather. Solid, solid, good stuff. If you've smelled that one, let me know what you think about it in the comments below. I don't know if it's sold out or not on Fragrance Buy's website, but I'll link it below, uh, at least the, the link to this on their website. If they are sold out, you can put in your email and they'll let you know when it comes back in. And also, of course, keep your eyes open at uh, other discounters because I'm sure that they'll end up getting it too. All right, guys, it's gonna do it for me. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Thanks for all your support. Stay safe out there and I'll see you tomorrow another fragrance video. See you guys.